Let's do a little sig fig action here. Uh, okay, how many sig figs? Three. 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 Now. Still three. 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 <laughs> now. Four. 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 Now. Three, nine. Yeah. Uh, nine. Looks like nine. Okay. <laughs> now. One. One. It doesn't matter how many zeros I add here. There's still one. Still one. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you had a hundred, but it was two sig figs in your answer. You can't write a hundred because that's one sig fig. So to write the correct, you have to use scientific notation. Okay. Some people do this. I'm not really into that, mm -hmm. and your book doesn't really talk about that, but they mean three sig figs. Okay, sometimes things are uh, exact. So H2O, there's two hydrogens, that's an exact number two. Or one oxygen, that's an exact number one. There will be a handful of times in the quarter when we get exact numbers often related to the number of atoms in a molecule or the number of moles of something in a reaction. So I'll point those out when they come, but be careful of exact numbers. Now, uh, when you, if you're talking about multiplication or division, uh, then you go 100.7 times 22. How many sig figs will I have in my answer? Two. Two. So you take the one that's lowest, and that's the sig figs for your answer. Addition and subtraction are painful, though. So when you get, and you'll see if you do any isotope question. Uh, we're going to do one with mercury, I believe, in class. It's a bear. So, but just to see a simple one, if I want to do 100.7 plus 22, 122.7. How many sig figs should I have? That's the word. Four. Well, I've written four, but that doesn't mean that's the right answer. You have to take off the point seven. You have to line up the decimal points like that. And the one that has the least digits to the right, it tells you the sig fig. So the sig figs stop at the decimal point, according to this. So it stops at the decimal point. So it's 123 is the right answer. Three sig figs is the correct answer. So it doesn't matter since 22 has two, it still is 123. Well, I had to round up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you don't, you have to round whenever you do a sig fig. Okay. Yeah, so 123 in this case. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. That's the sig fig deal. The, whenever you get adding and subtracting, and in this course that'll be with isotope questions, that's where it's going to get painful.